Joining me today to discuss mobile TV, we have Emma Lloyd, who is Managing Director of BT Movio, and we have Stefan Schneiders, who is SVP of Business Development with Siemens, specializing in mobile broadcast. Thank you both for, for talking today. Um, let's start, can we, with a, a very simple question, and that is why mobile TV? Where's the evidence that people actually want mobile TV? Well, we just um, completed a four-month pilot of mobile broadcast TV in London, in the M25 area, where we tested mobile broadcast TV with 1,000 users from a very broad demographic. And we found pretty much universal desire for getting TV on their mobile phones. People felt it was a very logical evolution. Everybody has a television. Everybody has a mobile phone. People expected that um, they would be able to get both together. Stefan, are you finding the same thing? Are you finding that research says that, that there is a demand there? Yeah, we have a lot of trials uh, with EVBH all over the world, especially in, in Europe, and we have seen very interesting uh, feedback there from our uh, trial users because a lot of them don't only use the mobile TV we gave them for testing during the move, also for example in a bus or something like this, they also use it in a home where they have another TV. That was very interesting, so mm -hmm. they keep the mobile, mobile TV on in the home. It was very interesting. I, I find that fascinating. You thought with a mobile phone, you'd want to watch TV waiting for a taxi or on a train, but yeah. you're saying that people actually want to actually use it in the home as well. Yeah. We found the same in our, in our pilot, that um, about 40% of usage was in the home. That's incredible. Um, okay, so there's the, the demand is there, um, but there's different flavors, there's different technology choices. I know we have an, a vendor, we have an operator, but you have both different, you've taken different approaches. Can we start with, uh, with BT's approach? Because you haven't gone with DVB yet, have you? What, what, what's your approach? Mm. Well, we operate in the UK market, and in the UK, um, we, we are bound by constraints on spectrum availability, and DVBH, um, as in terms of the spectrum required for DVBH, isn't going to be licensed by our regulator Ofcom nationally until 2012. So whilst BT Movio, as a, as a wholesaler of, of broadcast TV, is agnostic to DAB or DVBH, you know, we're, we're supportive of a broadcast technology. The fact that spectrum in the UK isn't available means that we need to start with DAB. And we've selected an IP variant of DAB because it's very, it, it, that's common to the DVBH platform so that it's designed to ease the evolution from DAB onto DVBH. Okay, Stefan, do I assume that elsewhere in Europe um, we haven't got that same frequency problem and that a lot of countries are able to go straight in with DVBH? Uh, I can explain why it's different. As <coughs> mentioned before, you have to ask the regulator, and the situation is in each country in Europe different. Therefore, there's a big conference in May 2006 in Geneva where you dis uh, discuss the digital switch over from analog to digital. And therefore, UK does not have frequency available since 2012. So in other uh, countries in Europe, it's totally different. So uh, mobile TV will start in different time phases in different countries with different technologies. But we believe with the DVBH technology, we have a technology where you can very efficient use the frequency because you can put uh, between 20 and 25 channels in one DVB T multiplex. Also here in Barcelona, we have all the FIRA covered with one multiplex uh, and broadcasting 15 channels here together with um, our local friends from Albertis Telecom all over the FIRA. So in other countries where DVB-H frequencies are available slash DVB-T, we prefer dvb -T. Is this going to mean we're going to see an end to the uh, video streaming? Um, because at the moment, a lot of people's experience of mobile TV is, is basically essentially streamed, isn't it? Uh, I would say the, the, if, you me if you're marketing something as mobile TV and you, you use streaming for this as a, a solution, it's something different what the people expect. Mm -hmm. They expect live TV channels as a, with mobile TV. Uh, but we believe that that's our a comprehensive solution and not competitive solution because with streaming you can also download things like this, you can use the existing network of the mobile network operator. With broadcast technology you do a complementary technology to reach mass market. I, I believe you also want to reach millions of users, not yes. a few thousand only. Yes. So did you look at uh, streaming or did you discard it and say no we need to go for the, the mass market and the choice and the whole TV experience? 
we do see it as a, as a hybrid. So our solution is a wholesale service, which is offered to the mobile operators for them to bundle with other streaming services. So we're very cognizant of the fact that it's not one or the other, it's going to be both, and it needs to be made easy for consumers. And so our application and our service is designed to be seamlessly integrated with each mobile operator's entire offering for TV and multimedia. Now, I would assume that in order to receive a broadcast television, no matter what technology is used, you're going to have, a, have to have a special receiver in the phone. So does this mean a whole new generation of, of handsets? What about yourself? Because you, you, mm. you've launched, you've announced a, a deal with, with Virgin, as you said today, yes. uh, here at the show. Um, a special dedicated handset required to watch that? Um, as with DVBH, you need a, um, a digital tuner um, to be added to the device. And we've unveiled today the world's first broadcast TV smartphone, which is called the Trilogy. And uh, that's available for, to look at on the Microsoft stand. And that um, essentially is the first device. Obviously, we, we expect other devices to follow soon after that. What, what, Stefan, what about um, uh, developers? Um, reducing the complexity of, of these receivers. Are, are we going to be able to see a, like a DVB-H tuner on a chip within, yeah. within a normal size phone? There's a DVB-H tuner definitely on the chip existing. And technology-wise, this is an antenna for DVB-H. Also this is a phone which has the DVB uh, capacity as mobile uh, television capacity. And what we believe is that the user want a selection of, from different vendors. Mm -hmm. That is what is common and therefore we really stress the interoperability issue, also that we broadcast here a stream with a platform where other vendors can test the equipment, and that is what we do here in Barcelona. So coming to the point, yes, there are two receivers in it. There's one receiver for the GSM network and one receiver for the broadcast network for the DBBH network in this phone. And, uh, in the moment, are t there are two ships, but in the middle of the road, it will be one ship. Mm -hmm. right. I think it's also worth pointing out that there are um, silicon solutions out there which are multi-mode DAB and DVB-H, so that for device manufacturers such as Siemens, um, the fact that some countries don't have DVB-H spectrum means that they can make one device which can um, be made available in every, in every market. So we can, we can still get economies of scale no matter which country you're in? Yes. Excellent. Now, there's an awful lot to see here at the show, and uh, we'll be obviously watching this sector with particular interest. Um, this time next year, what stage do you think mobile TV will be at? Well, certainly in the, in the UK, we'll have been running a, a service for many months and um, hope to have a large number of, of customers and start to see how that market evolves. Also, I just can second what um, was mentioned before. We believe that the market will start in 2007 mm. in a big amount. And uh, it depends on the country, on national regulation and frequency availability, and on, I think, very important issue, the work together between broadcast operators and mobile network operators uh, to launch the service successful. Mm -hmm. Because there are existing networks for broadcast in the country rolled out. And for DVBH, you need just an add-on. So the investment in the infrastructure is not so extreme high if you compare it, to, for example, to UMTS. So we believe that the big market will be uh, then in 2008 and 2009 and 2007 will be the start. Stefan, Emma, thanks very much for talking with us okay. today. Thank you.